My name is Jacob, and I work for a company called Codswallop CIC. Now, um, I also run a company called Geisley Theatre CIC. So I've got two different hats on. Um, Codswallop is all about having a bit of craziness, causing some fun, um, uh, lots of arts in the community. You might have come to some of our events. You might have come to some of our shows. Who knows what you might have come to. And then Geisley Theatre CIC is the home of Codswallop CIC. So Codswallop lives inside Geisley Theatre, as well as a lot of different organisations. And Geisley Theatre is this big, old, beautiful theatre that we are going to spend a lot of time talking about today, which I'm very, very excited about. So, first things first, could you please wave at your camera if you have ever seen a show at Geisley Theatre? Good. Some, fantastic. Like most people have seen a show at Geisley Theatre. Okay, put, uh, can you wave at the camera if you've ever been to a club or a class at Geisley Theatre? Have you been to a club or a class? Okay, put your, uh, can you wave if you have ever, ever even stepped foot in Geisley Theatre, whether it was to go to the toilet or whether it was just to look around? Good, that is most people, fantastic, brilliant. Okay, if you haven't stepped inside, can you give me a wave if you've ever walked past Geisley Theatre? Good. So we all know where Geisley Theatre is. Fantastic. Right, so today what we're going to do is I'm going to very, 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 very quickly uh, whiz through everything that you need to know about the history of Geisley Theatre. Because Geisley Theatre is over 150 years old 150 years old 154 to be exact which is even older than our chairman chris ingram uh, so what i am going to ask is that if you have any questions at all today throughout this uh, this little zoom class that you uh, either write your questions in the chat that can appear uh, or save it for the end and at the end, we'll have a time where I'll answer all the questions in the chat. And if you put a, a hands up, you can use the reactions at the bottom of the screen, put your hands up or wave or clap or whatever it is that you want to do, then I'll say, hey, what's your question? And then you can unmute your microphone and ask me and I will try very, very hard to answer your question. Um, because if I don't know the answer, somebody else might. Brilliant. OK, so. The last time some of you went into Geisley Theatre, it probably looked a lot different to what it does now. Uh, you might be able to hear in the background behind me, there are lots of builders in at the moment. There's roofers and scaffolding because there's so much work going on at the moment that the building has changed a lot in just one year. So first things first we're going to do is I'm gonna give you a guided tour around Geisley Theatre. So this is a video that we're gonna watch. I filmed it earlier yesterday, so you might notice that I changed my clothes as if by magic. Uh, and then we'll watch the video and then I'll talk through bits of what we have seen. So, uh, is this going to work? There we go. Can you give me a wave if you can see on your screen now, it says a brief history of Geisley Theatre. Good, we can see that, fantastic, brilliant. Okay, everything's going well so far. So if I click this next, you should see the grand tour of Geisley Theatre. All areas tour of Geisley Theatre. Now I'm warning you now, it is a mess inside here. There is so much work going on. There is builders, there's plumbers, there's electricians. So the building is messy. Come on in and have a look. So, as soon as you walk into the building, you've got these beautiful, great big arches and these hand-carved details. Now, these are original from 
1867 when the building was first made, as well as this beautiful, huge staircase that goes right to the very, very top of the building. Can you see all the way up there? Now, first thing we're going to do is as you come through the main doors, you're going to pop into this room here. This room is the Offenbach room. Come on in. Now, this is probably the most beautiful room in the building. It's got all of these beautiful pictures of guys we theatre through the years. This here is a picture of Matthew William Thompson. Now, we're going to talk about him later. Uh, and this room, it tends to be used uh, as, as a room for classes to happen in. Or, when we've got a show on, through those doors there is the bar. Now, I'll show you that later. Through here, this has been decorated recently, this is the Leha room. Now, it's a bit of a mess at the moment. These are actually the curtains that normally hang on the stage, but we've kept them down here so they get uh, stay nice and clean. Um, so this room is a bit of a meeting room. Sometimes we put um, the performances in here, uh, the uh, actors, so that we use it as a green room or a dressing room. Uh, because they can get to the stage this way, whilst front of house is that way. Follow me this way. This area here, this used to be the school room, so this would have been a head teacher's office. I'll talk to you more about that as well. However, at the moment, we're trying to turn it into a bit of a waiting room. Um, but at the moment, we're just storing things. This is the kitchen. We use it as a bit of a staff room. We've got lockers to keep our stuff in. We've got some chairs. We've got a kettle. What more do you need to just sit back and relax after a long day of doing some work? This is the Strauss room. This is the Strauss dance studio. We've just recently got these mirrors in and a new dance floor so that we can dance and dance and dance and rehearse and we can see what we are doing at the same time time. Um, so we haven't actually been able to have many classes or rehearsals in here because it's all been happening whilst all these lockdowns have been happening. But as soon as we're allowed to open again, this room is going to get used the most, I reckon. And this is the bar. So during shows, uh, this is where our team of um, bar staff will be working from. At the moment, because we haven't had any, any uh, performances in the last, well, nearly a year now, uh, it's just been used as a storeroom again. But through these doors here is the Offenbach room. Do you remember when uh, we were in there? If we have a look through here. Da -da -da -da! The Offenbach room. So the idea is you come through that door, you come in here, find somewhere to sit, go and get your drink through there, and then come back in here, sit down, have a little bit of a drink. And then, when the show was about to begin, you would come up here into the auditorium. So this is the Barney Colhan Hall. Now, it's called Barney Colhan because he was uh, the chairman of the Amdram Society that ran Geisley Theatre. And he used to work in, uh, on TV but we'll talk about him later as well. So this is the stage. This here is the stage. This is where all the performances happen. Behind these curtains, these are the temporary curtains we've hung up, is a, a, a large performance space. You've got this hall here, which downstairs you can fit 200 people sat down here. 200 people in this space before social distancing. And um, when there's not a show on, we'll clear all the seats to the side. And then things like line dancing happen in here, or yoga, or birthday parties. All sorts happens in this space. Now you can fit 200 people downstairs. That there is a balcony. And you can fit another 100 people on there. Let's go and have a look. So you can see these seats, they don't move. These seats are always here. There are 100 seats up here. And at the moment, we've been clearing out all the tech stores and we found these old lighting and sounds desks. These don't work anymore. Uh, these are probably about 60 years old, those ones. And then 
Normally, when we've got performance, this here is where you can control all the sound. But at the moment, all the sound equipment is in a pile here. And this room here is where you would control all the lighting equipment. And all the lighting equipment is being stored right here. So I can't show you those rooms right now, otherwise I'd have to climb over it. But it's pretty cool. Up here, you get a perfect view of the stage, so you can see everything that's happening. Now, normally I wouldn't show anybody this room on a tour, but I'm very excited to show you in here, because this is the gents toilets, and normally it stinks. But we are in the middle of ripping out all of the toilets. You can see that we've taken the tiles off the wall, we're about to knock down these walls, and over the next couple of weeks it's going to get redecorated, it's going to look absolutely beautiful, and it's going to smell nice. And this was the sweet shop. Now this is another project that we've started. Uh, we've, we've ripped it all out. It was full of shelves and uh, freezers to keep ice cream in. Um, but we've taken all that out so that we can try and use the space a little bit better. We might turn it into a new bar. And whilst we were doing that, we found lots of boxes of out of date sweets. So we've eaten all of those. In fact, I'm gonna eat one right now. So from the main hall, at the side of the stage, on both sides, there are doorways that lead to backstage. So if you came to see a show, you won't be allowed back here. We're going to show you exactly what there is. So, right now, we are underneath the stage. That is the stage right above me. And back here, um, you might call this a running room, or a props bay, or a dress room. So we've got tap here. If you need um, a bucket of water on stage, this is where they would fill it up. Um, or if you need to clean some plates if they've been eating in a scene. If you've got a small cast, you might use this as the changing room. And then here, you've got more changing space. Great big mirror so you can look and um, make sure your uh, outfit is all perfect before you go on stage. Then under here, even if you're in the cast, you're not allowed back under here. This is where we store all the props. So you might find things like uh, lamps or old telephones under here. Um, there's extra staging. There's great big electrical boxes that power the lights on the stage. And then over here you can see a large pile of old theatre lights. Now, we won't use these anymore. These are too old to use. However, we are going to try and see if we can do them up a little bit and then you might be able to put them in your living room, for example. And then, one of the most important features of a stage, the trapdoor. Now, at the moment, there's a pile of stuff on the stage, so I can't show you through the trapdoor, but you go up this staircase and then you would appear, as if by magic, on the stage, which is what we're going to do now, but we're going to go the normal way. So this staircase here leads up to stage right. So I'm now on the stage, but as you can see, looking at this, it is full of equipment, all of our chairs, that we would normally have in the main hall. It's all being stored on stage. These are our temporary curtains. Um, in fact, I could probably open the curtains if we have a look. There we go. So currently you stood behind a pile of equipment, but here you would be on the stage standing in front of a full house of 300 people. Now normally, directly above my head, there would be hundreds of lights, speakers, uh, ropes, pulley systems, however we've taken all of that down. 
and we're trying to get a new system back up there ready to open again. So this is the stage. Uh, now I think we'll go downstairs. So this is the cast steps, backstage steps, and they lead all the way back down to here. Now this area here is um, is backstage uh, when we've got a show on. However, during the day, this is our office space. This is where the staff work. So you might, if you ring up and ask to talk to guys in theatre, the person who answers the phone will be in this room. Um, when we're selling tickets and we're allowed to do that, this acts as our box office. So you can sit here, print off a ticket, and then the other person will be stood on this side of the window. And you can pass it through the window. However, we can't do that at the moment because we're not allowed. Uh, ah, there we go. Look, box office. That's the Leihau room that I was showing you earlier that we use as a as um, a green room, dressing room. And then, this is top secret, we're going in to the cellar. Now, even people who've worked in this theatre for decades, hundreds of years, have never been in the cellar. Because it's dirty, and because there's lots of equipment down here, that's very, very dangerous if you don't use it right. So, uh, in here, you can see piles of props, um, like the Mona Lisa. So, if we use a, a, um, a prop in a show, it, once it's finished, it might come and store down here. But it's also where all the electricity comes into the building, and this is where we're getting a lot of work done at the moment. All of this is really old wires. A lot of it's been ripped out now. And then we're putting new systems in like this and this so that all our electrics are contained in one place. It's a bit messy in here. Then, if you follow me this way, we've done a lot of decorating this year. So, uh, after doing lots of decorating, we've done lots of painting and we've got lots of pots of paint left over. So what we've done here is we've organised it all and labelled exactly which room each pot of paint is for. So if ever we need to do some touching up or there's some damage that needs fixing, we just come down here, find the room that we want to decorate and then take the right colour from there. Then in here, this is the boiler room. These two massive boxes here these are what do all the heating it's very warm in here and very loud in here so all of the heating comes from this room here and it's all powered and controlled from this big box that is absolutely full of complicated wires that i try and avoid touching at all costs let's go back upstairs before i melt This is the stage door. So you would come through the main doors that we started in if you're coming to see the show. If you're performing in the show, you would use the stage door. So I'm going to let you go now. I'm going to stay in here because I've got a lot of work that needs doing. I'll see you later. Bye! So there we go. That is a very, very quick whiz around the building. Uh, and there are some extra bits that you might be able to have a look around later if I give you a link to the website, which I will do at the end. So that is Guys in Theatre. At the moment, it is a bomb site. Um, there is all sorts going on, all sorts of work. It's, it's really exciting, the, um, the work that's happening, because it's going to be a brand new building by the time that everybody is allowed back in. But before the first lockdown, before COVID started, we had all sorts going on. So we had wrestling. We had a group of wrestlers that came in. They brought a wrestling ring and they put it up in our theater. Uh, and then they had fights with each other. It was quite entertaining to watch. We had comedy nights. Um, there were uh, tribute acts. So I think this is Dolly Parton, I think, not sure. But we had people come in every other weekend pretending to be different celebrities and, and singing, pretending to be them. 
then here we've got a music nights. So we have music nights down here. We had Christmas shows. That is from our Christmas show, Molly and Maddie, which was done in 2019 when we were allowed to do Christmas shows. Uh, so some of you might have been to see that. We've done workshops. This was one of our circus workshops here. They happen in the theatre. Um, holiday clubs. You might be a member of a holiday club. Um, uh, and then weddings. People used to get married in this building. And I'm, I'm hoping that when we're allowed to again, they will still get married. Uh, musicals, big shows happened. Classes, this is a Pilates class for children. Uh, then we've got classes for babies. And we've even got classes for old people. There is classes for absolutely everybody. Uh, every single person that you will meet will have some reason to come to Geisley Theatre if they just look hard enough. But that's all very different now, because obviously we're now in lockdown number three. So as I keep saying, it is a building site. This is a photo of the gents toilets. That's a photo of some water damage on the stage from, uh, from the roof that's been repaired. The electrics are being done. The gents toilets walls, can you remember in the video, the walls were gonna be knocked down. Now they have been knocked down. That's a pile of wall there. Uh, and a hole in the roof. Uh, there's the electrics that we were talking about, more electrics, and the whole building is getting wrapped in scaffolding. There is, they've built scaffolding all the way up to the roof, and then they've put another three layers of scaffolding on top of that. And today what they've done is they've wrapped it all in blue, so it's a lovely bright blue colour. And then earlier, last year in 2020, before all the uh, building work started, we did lots of painting. So all of these rooms that haven't been touched in a very, 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 very long time now look brilliantly colourful, bright, clean and exciting. So for the first time in a long time, this building's getting a, a new lease of life. It's getting freshened up and it's all being done by volunteers. There we go. That's the dance room that I was talking about. That's the off and back room. So this here that you can see in front of you, that is Geisley Theatre. It's 154 years old and it hasn't really changed much. That photo was taken in the 70s, so 1970s, and it's now 2021 and it looks pretty much the same. Not an awful lot has changed. Um, but originally in 1954, it wasn't called Geisley Theatre. You can see here, it was originally called Geisley Town Hall. So do we know what a town hall is? Give me a thumbs up on your, your camera if you, can, if you know what a town hall is. A few thumbs up, okay. So a town hall is where all the people that are in charge of running a town, they all meet in there and make decisions, a bit like a council, like Leeds City Council. So Geisley Town Hall was the centre of the town. It's where people would meet. So here we've got a picture of uh, lots of old men that were all meeting. This is, um, I think, 1905. These guys were meeting to discuss celebrations for the new coronation. Might be 1902. Um, so there, you, you can see that photo there, the windows behind it look into the Offenbach room. You can stand on that pavement as you walk past the theatre uh, and stand exactly where they were standing nearly a hundred years ago. It's, I, I get very excited by that. Um, so it was used for places to meet um, and it was used for places to, uh, to, to get people together, to have community events, which it is still used for today. Then in 1903, uh, the first theatre performance happened in Geisley Town Hall. It was still Geisley Town Hall then. And then a group of people got together and decided, we're going to put on a show. So they started uh, putting on their shows together. And they, kept, they, they did two shows, I think it was, until the wars came. So World War I and World War II. So at that time, the show stopped because Geisley Town Hall 
got turned into a hospital. So you can see here, these are all the nurses that were sitting on the steps of Geisley Town Hall. You can see the sign there that says Geisley Auxiliary Hospital. So what would happen is if people got injured fighting in different countries, they would uh, bring them back home and they would send them to an auxiliary hospital near to where they lived. So all the men that went off to fight in World War I or II, um, and then they got injured, they got sent back home. And if they lived near Geisley Theatre, they, um, they got taken to Geisley Town Hall. Now, I love this photo because not only can you sit exactly where they are sitting right now, those are the main doors of Geisley Theatre, but these nurses changed the beds for the patients and uh, they had so much washing, they didn't know what to do with it. So what they did was they got all of the washing and put it in a gigantic basket outside the main doors of the theatre. So roughly where they sat now, they put a massive box basket with all of the washing in it, with a little sign that said, can you do some washing for us? So people that would walk past the, um, the theatre every day, so they might go to school, or they might be just walking to Morrison's or whatever, they would come and they would pick up a bundle of bed sheets, they would take it home with them, and they would wash it with their clothes, and then they would bring the beautifully ironed folded bed sheets back to Geisley Theatre and say, here you are, here's some nice clean bed sheets. So the community were coming together to help the building run. And that is something that happens time and time and time and time again. But then the war's finished and then the show's restarted. I'm not sure if this is a show or a, a community event, but you can see there lots and lots of people. That is the Geisley Theatre stage. Uh, that is the very stage that is right above my head right now. And um, people were using it as a community building. And this happened as soon as the war was stopped and carried on happening. Uh, so, once the theatre's performances could restart, a group of people got together and they um, formed Geisley Amateur Operatic Society. Except, back then, it was called the Geisley Ambulance Amateur Operatic Society, which is a bit of a strange name for some people that want to put on a show. So why do you think they call, they, they call themselves the Geisley Ambulance Amateur Operatic Society? Well, it was because they were putting on shows and people were going to come along and pay their money and all the money that they got, they put together to buy Geisley's first ambulance. There it is. That is the actual ambulance that the people in Geisley Amateur Ambulance Society, they bought that ambulance. And then once they bought the ambulance, they just became Geisley Amateur Operatic Society, which uh, was shortened down to GAOS. If you just take the first letters, it becomes GAOS. So after that, the, um, the, the building became all sorts of things. It was a theatre. It wasn't really used for council buildings, town hall anymore. Um, it became a cinema. Uh, there was a cinema in this building. And the projection, where they kept the projector, uh, is now the gents' toilets that we're doing up. So we're, we're taking out all the walls that would have been there to hold, hold the projector. It used to be a fire station. It used to be where they kept the ambulance, uh, a council hall. There were so many different things that it was used for. Um, and then in the 1980s, Geisley Amateur Operatic Society, they took over the building and they looked after it ever since until we stepped up as guys in this, I see, to help take it into the next chapter of its life. So, thinking back to when we looked at that tour around the building, if you can think back to them, uh, this next slide should have a floor plan on it. Now, a floor plan is a bit like a map. Now, I know that it is upside down on your screen, but if you just imagine that uh, in the bottom right-hand corner, you've got the main doors. So you can come through those main doors and then you're into the off and back room with the bar and the lay heart. This is the ground floor. This is how the building is right now. This is what we use to refer to when we're looking at doing building work. This is our floor plan of the building right now. When I click this mouse again, very, 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 very slowly, 
the original architect drawings are going to appear. And I want you to see how much of the building has changed since then or not changed since then. So if I click, it's going to very slowly. Uh, there we go. So those are the drawings that somebody drew in 1850, I think, um, when they were talking about building a new town hall in Geisley. That is the floor plan that they drew. And that is exactly, pretty much exactly what we have still got today. So not a lot has changed. Uh, I might be able to just go back a bit. You might see that um, where it says engine room, it is now uh, the, here, can you see that? The engine room is now the kitchen. There's a new wall along here and there's a few doorways that have appeared. But if I go back, you can see those. It'll change again slowly, have a look. There we go. So the windows line up, the, the walls still line up, the toilets are even there as well. Now this is really helpful because it gets, it, it helps us to see what they used the building for 150 years ago. When they were first building Geisley Town Hall, it, they were trying to think, right, what should we use this town hall for? Well, if you look carefully, you've got an office down here and you've got a boardroom down there. Now that is what they would have used as the, the actual town hall. That is where they would have met. The boardroom, we're now turning back into a boardroom and the office is still now an office. And that is where the town hall element would have come from. However, if you look towards the back of the building, you've got schoolroom and classroom. So in this building here that I am sat right now, they would have had their lessons. It would have been a school for the children of Geisley to come to. Now we've turned it into a dance studio and a storage area. But once upon a time, that was a classroom and a schoolroom. And if you look over here, which is now the bar, it was once a library. Now, Geisley Library's just changed places. It used to be opposite Morrison's. Now it's in Geisley Leisure Centre, directly across the road. Well, before that, the room that I'm sat in right now used to be Geisley Library. And there was also the reading room where you get the book and you would go and have a read. So, so much has happened in this building. This is what they wanted to do originally. But there was one person who is very, 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 very important uh, to do with how the building came to life. This is him, Sir Matthew William Thompson. I always think he looks a little bit like a vampire. Now, Matthew William Thompson, he was the Lord Mayor of Bradford. He was an MP, Member of Parliament for this area. He was the chair of the Midland Railway. And he was very important because it was his idea to build a town hall. Now, Matthew William Thompson, he was a very, very rich man. But he said, I will help build this town hall if you, the people of Geisley, can help pay for it as well. So he challenged the people of Geisley. He went around and said, can you put any money towards the building of Geisley? Can you put any money towards the building of Geisley Town Hall? Can you put any money towards the building of Geisley? He spoke to people like Abraham Moon um, or Jonathan Peach. You might have heard those in a history class. They ran the mills in the area. And he managed to raise 100 pounds from everybody in Geisley. Now, that might not sound like a lot of money right now, but back then it was a lot, a lot, a lot of money. That wasn't enough to build a town hall though. Matthew William Thompson then paid two and a half thousand pounds. Two and a half thousand pounds to build the whole building. So the whole thing cost about 3,000 pounds to build. And Matthew William Thompson paid for a lot of that, but so did the people of Geisley. And if you look above the main doors of Geisley Theatre, so as you come to the theatre and you look above the main doors, in fact, I've got a photo of them now, there we go, um, you can see two things. 
So these are the doors that you would go through. And then directly above, you will see a button. Now, nobody knows why there is a button above our door. It's a very nice button, but nobody knows. Some people say it's because Geisley made a lot of cloth. Some people say it used to hold a gas light on it, but I don't think either of those are true. Nobody knows why there is a button there. But underneath, you can see there. That is a fist in the air. Can you all hold your fist like that? There we go. That there, imagine you are holding um, some wheat, some barley. If you go and pick up a large clump, clump of um, long grass and hold it like that, you can see there the fist above the door is holding uh, some barley. And that is because that there is Matthew William Thompson's family crest. So he would have that in his house. He would have that on the top of the paper if he wrote a, a letter to somebody. That is his family crest. So everything that he had something to do with, they would put that sign on it. Now he's holding a big chunk of barley because his family used to be brewers and you use barley to make beer. Uh, you don't use it to make theater, however. Well, depends who you ask. Uh, so we can take a closer look. There we go. And you can see either side of the fist, it says AD. 1867 and that is because uh, in 1867 that is when they opened Geisley Town Hall on Boxing Day. So the day after Christmas everybody in Geisley came down to Geisley Town Hall, they piled inside and Matthew William Thompson he said these exact words, he said I now declare Geisley Town Hall open and I, I say that this building is for the use of the inhabitants of Geisley forever. For the use of the inhabitants of Geisley forever. So what he's saying there, this building belongs to everybody that lives in Geisley. If you live in Geisley, this is your building and it will be your building forever. So give me a wave if you live in Geisley. Good, lots of waving. Give me a wave if you live near to Geisley. Good, fantastic. So Matthew William Thompson, 150 years ago, said that this building, this building here, this belongs to you. And you need to take care of it. He said, this is your building and, and it's gonna be your building forever. 150 years ago, it, it, later, it is still your building. And then the audience went, woo, yippee, bravo. And then uh, a big choir all came on the stage and they sung Handel's Messiah, uh, which is the song that goes, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hundreds of people started singing that because they were very, very excited that Geisley now had a town hall. Uh, and we're still excited now. And ever since then, the community has been looking after the building. Here are the nurses and the community looking after the people in the building. Here is another community, lots of people piled into the main hall there to, uh, to look after the building. There, it's the Shrove Tide Bazaar there. They're, they're there, they're looking after the building. There's another committee of people looking after the building over the last 150 years. Here is Gaos, which are now called Geisley Theatrical Productions. They are looking after the building. Uh, this was the last time the foyer got de decorated. Look, they're, they're there with their painty clothes on and then it is now our turn. So me and a, a team of volunteers have been in the building as much as we can. I've been allowed to for the last year and a bit, decorating, making sure everything is as good as it can possibly be. And we are painting, it's our turn to look after the building. And if it's our turn to look after the building, it is also your turn to look after the building. So, we have launched our Save Our Stage appeal. At the moment, uh, the stage doesn't work. We're a theatre, we've got a platform, but the stage doesn't work. There are no lights pointing at it. There's no sound pointing at it. It's all a bit broken. It needs fixing, it's leaking, it needs new electricity to it. And that costs about a hundred thousand pounds. So if you remember, Matthew William Thompson paid about £3,000 to build the whole building 150 years ago. We now need £100,000 to try and get it back up to what it needs to be. 
So you can see there's the leaking roof. We've got ladders going all over the place. Um, these are all our lights and our uh, glitter balls that are now stored. And we need to somehow figure out how we're going to raise this money. Now, luckily, lots of people are stepping up to the mark. They are being absolute legends. This lady here, dressed as an elf, on Christmas Eve, she ran eight miles to raise money for Geisley Theatre and Codswallop CIC. Uh, she got people to sponsor her and she ran, them, ran eight miles and then she gave the money to Geisley Theatre so that we can save our stage. The Dunwells here, uh, they are a band. They're two brothers called the Dunwells and they are putting on a concert. They're going to stream a concert over the internet and people are going to buy tickets to that and all that money is going to go towards saving our stage. Geisley Theatrical Productions, they're going to do online performances and all the money that they get from that, they are going to save our stage. Codswell Up CIC is going to do some performances and all the money from that is going to go towards saving our stage. So our challenge to you is what could you possibly do to help us save our stage? In a minute, uh, I'm going to show you our learning hub. This is something we're very, very excited about. And because you're all stuck at home uh, and I'm stuck in a theatre and nobody can go out to play and you've got to do lots of online lessons. We've got all of every, we've talked to lots of people that work in the building and asked them what could they teach other people? And we put it all on a website. And on that website, there is also some resources of what you could do, uh, a sponsored run, a sponsored stair climb, a sponsored bake, a sponsored sleep even. Uh, and you can uh, figure out what you could do to help save our stage. There's some sponsorship forms on there as well. So I think, I think, is that the end of, there we go. Right, so it's, it's question time. If you have got a question, oh dear. If you've got a question, you can uh, put your hand up. You can raise your hand using the reactions. Uh, I'm going to check the chat to see if anybody has got a question. Oh, lots of wows. Good. I'm not sure what they would say. Oh, oh. That's nice. Guys, the theatre has changed a lot. It has indeed changed a lot. Um, don't you fancy opening up the classroom again? No. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, have people investigated why there's a button? Yes, I've sent a, a crack team of detectives and historians to try and figure out why, why is there a button on the front of our building? Nobody knows, nobody knows. Um, some people say it's to show off the skills of the, uh, the stonemasons, but if you look at the button compared to the family crest, I would say the family crest is a lot more uh, interesting. Um, has the theatre ever experienced a fire? That's a good question. Not that I know of. We've had a, a, a few years ago, um, some people found a trailer around the back of the theatre full of uh, wood. It had some wood from small scenery and they set fire to the trailer and the trailer was up against the building. But luckily the, um, the fire department got here in time and they pulled the trailer away from the building before it set fire to our kitchen and they put out the fire so nobody was hurt, but we did we did have to get a new, uh, a new trailer. Um, thank you. Uh, right, so Micah and Tabs, you're the first ones up. Uh, if you want to unmute yourselves and ask the question. Do we know how that works? Hello, and maybe um, I, I really enjoy um how 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 many times have you acted in Geisley Theatre? Oh, how many times have I acted in Geisley Theatre? <laughs> uh, a lot. Too many. So I'll tell you a secret here, Micah. When I was <laughs> three years old, so when I was just three years old, I came to play group here. So the room that's now a dance studio Ooh. is where I came twice a week to play with a, a lovely lady called Mrs. King. And um, so since then, I've been in and out of the building. I came to see pantomimes here with school. I came to see a clown show. I loved the clown show. Uh, and then I got married here as well. 
So really, I've lived in this building for nearly 26 years now. Um, but a lot of times, a lot, a lot, a lot of times I've been acting in this building. Um, is that Edie? Hey, hey, Edie, have you got a question? How long have you worked in Geisley Theatre? How long have I worked in Geisley Theatre? So, uh, Codswallop. Codswallop's been running for seven years now. Seven years of Codswalloping. And then for about five of those years, I think, I've been helping with Geisley Theatre. So I joined a team of people who, uh, who ran Geisley Theatre and they have been running it for a lot longer than I have even been alive. In fact, if you look carefully on, on the small screens, you might see some, uh, a very old gentleman called Chris, very, very old, and he's been doing it since, well, since before history began. Um, uh, I've got a few questions in the chat here. How did they, how do you open the curtains before electricity? So, it's interesting you should ask this, because we might be going back to that system. Um, they would have a massive, um, a massive wheel and a handle, and you would have to crank the wheel like this, and then the curtains would slowly open. Now, because we're getting all the electrics redone, we're, we're making this decision of whether we keep the button that's very, very loud in the middle of shows, or whether we go back to the wheel, or whether we look at some other, other um, systems. Because now you can roll curtains, so they drop in like that, or you can swing curtains in. We don't know, we're gonna figure that out. Which is your favorite room in the theater? Mm, good question. I, I would say probably the main hall, just because when I look at that, that room and I think what, what is gonna happen in this room, what has happened in this room and what is going to happen in that room. So for me, I got married in that room. Um, I've put on shows in that room, but before I was born, Matthew William Thompson would have been in that room making important decisions. Uh, so much history is in that room. It, it gets, it's, it's quite exciting when you think about it. So, any more questions? Give me a wave if you've got any more questions. Oh, Wilfred, is that a hand up? Yeah. Yep, yeah, go on then, Wilfred. Um, ha have you seen any theatres? Have I seen any shows? Yeah. In the theatre, yes. So, <laughs> the great thing about working in a theatre is that when shows come on, you can be like, oh, I've, I've got to sit in and watch this for official theatre purposes. Uh, and then you can sit at the back sneakily and watch whatever show comes into the theatre. So I've seen pantomimes, I've seen uh, comedy shows, I've seen uh, musicals, and you just stand there watching it and be like, oh yes, I'm very important. I've got to make sure that nobody's eating popcorn. Uh, things like that, you can watch it all for free. It's brilliant. I strongly advise everybody finds a job in the theatre. Which brings me on to my next point. Um, before you go, what we are doing today, which we're very, very excited about, is we are launching our learning hub. So I'm gonna share this screen again, if I can manage to do that. There we go. Now, if you go to guysleytheatre.org forward slash learning hub, uh, you will find a, um, a page full of videos. Videos, it's got worksheets on there. There's, there's the very old Chris, the chairman. Um, there's the big tour that we watched earlier. You can watch that as well. Uh, this meeting here is gonna go in, in the history lesson. And there's lots of worksheets that you can download there that are all to do with Geisley Theatre. Dance lessons, story times, uh, hospitality, which is uh, being friendly to people, basically. Um, some fun activities, music lessons, technology lessons, art and design. And then at the very bottom is your challenge um, to learn to try and raise money for Geisley Theatre Save Our Stage. So there is so much work that needs to be done. And we're just at the very, very, very beginning. So uh, I, th I think that's it. Which famous people have performed it? Okay, I'll answer this question. Um, in fact, behind me, uh, there is a picture here. You guys probably won't know who this is, but there is a picture of Ken Dodd. Um, 
Now, Ken Dodd, he, um, he stupidly in public said that it was his challenge to himself to, to perform in every theatre in the country. Um, and so somebody from Geisley said, Oi, come and perform at Geisley Theatre um, and donate your time. Uh, and then you can, uh, then all the money that we make from that will go towards helping rebuild the theatre way back then. I think it was in the 80s. And apparently he performed for something like five hours and people had to leave because the babysitters needed to go to bed. Um, brilliant. Fantastic. James, James Gosden, have you got a question or is your hand still up? Just stretching. Just stretching. Marvellous. No, no, I, I do have a question. Oh, you do have a question. Go on then. Um, I wonder... Yeah, I forgot. You forgot. <laughs> That's all right. Wilfred, is that another hand up? Um, I've got foreign money and I can use it in different countries. So I, I'm going to use it near the show. Brilliant. That sounds amazing. Fantastic. Well, guys, you guys have been wonderful. I have talked for way too long. Um, next time you wander past the theatre, you, uh, you'll have to give the theatre a wave. It's hiding at the moment behind, behind some big blue scaffolding. Um, but if you guys could think about how you can run your own fundraisers to help save our stage, that would be absolutely amazing. 150 years after it was built, if the children of Geisley were managing to save the day, that would, that would, be, that would be a new piece of history that we'll talk about in another 150 years' time. So thank you very much. You guys have been absolutely wonderful. Uh, and I'll see you all when, when you are allowed back into the building. Who knows when that will be, but when you can, it will be amazing. We'll be here waiting for you. Oh, before you all go, can you, uh, can you all unmute your microphones? And then can I get you all to shout what a load of codswall up at the top of your voices? Ready and I'm going to film it. Uh, and then... Um, Isaac. Are you ready? What's One, two, three, go! Okay, let's try that again. One, two, three. Oh, beautiful, guys. Beautiful. Brilliant. Thank you very much. It has been lovely to see some wonderful faces. I'll see you all later. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.